Hello and welcome to the Shade Tree Machinist Workshop. My name is John. Today what I have for you, for you is uh, I've got a uh, piston out of a out of a motorcycle engine. It's uh, for a dirt bike. I really don't know the the size of the engine, but uh, a friend of mine that uh, rebuilds these things and modifies them is wanting me to modify this piston. And he's wanting me to put two slot open slots on the side of it. I'm not real sure exactly what it does. Uh, he does, but he basically told me what requirements he wants uh, to mill this out. So basically, I'm going to show you. I've got my uh, rotary uh, indexing installed, indexer installed on my. It's a rotary table, eight inch, with a indexing attachment to it. So that kind of plays two rows. I also got a uh, four jaw scrolling chuck, meaning uh, all four uh, jaws uh, move in and out together. Uh, they're in sync. They're not independent like most four jaws uh, chucks are. So uh, it's something I saw. It's a six inch on a, it's an eight inch uh, rotary table. And I'll be chucking this in and I'll be dialing it in, just plunge and cut and cutting this relief. It kind of give me an outline of basically the way it is, but I've got the measurements to fine tune it. So basically I'll chuck this up. So I'll get chucked up and I'll bring you in a little closer and show you how, how I go about doing this. I've got the uh, piston installed in the four jawed chuck. Right now all I'm going to do before I get it dialed in for the spot that I'm going to be milling out, I'm going to find the uh, back edge with a half inch edge finder and, uh, and then I'm going to zero out my DRO and oh yeah this is my first uh, job using my new DRO installed. Uh, once I find the edge on that I'll zero out the uh, Y axis. I'll bring this, bring it back, bring it down, touch off on this side, hit my half uh, distance function and it'll automatically tell me how far back I need to come to be dead center on the piston. So we'll get started doing that. <laughs> Just bring it up and you start seeing it leveling out, getting smooth and it'll kick to one side. That'll tell me I'm right on the edge. That's it right there. Zero out my y-axis. Come over to the other side. Back it into it. Watch for it kick to one side. Just kick. I hit my half function. And then it tells me I've got to uh, come back one inch, three hundred and nine thousandths to be center. So I'll bring that out until I, my y axis on the DRO zeroes out. And that should be dead center. Okay. okay. Lock out my my Y axis so I won't be moving it anymore during this job. just remove my center finder or edge finder and also this was a half half inch uh, collet and the cutter I'm going to be using is a uh, is a 3 16ths I believe two flute it's high speed steel yep that's the cutter I'll be using 
and it's got a shank for 3 8 so I'll end up stalling 3 8 color table disengage where I can just move it around by hand. I'll get it close. <clears throat> I'll use my square <clears throat> to, to locate the first edge. I have to bring the table down a little bit so to clear. the worm gear on the road here now I can turn it with a hand crank now basically I got a little mark right in the center that shows me the uh, center of the workpiece of the piston and there's a mark up on the edge where I'm going to start and that's it right there lock down the table Then I gotta basically I need to bring it around. That was the center of the cutting bit, and I actually need to, to have the edge of the cutting bit on that. So uh down it a little bit. Okay. Now lock it down. Bring it back to my starting point. Right there. I'm going to zero out my X axis. And that's what I'll come back to and then I'll write down my my reading that I'll come down here on the end. And I'm basically going to hog this out and I'll uh, come back and do a real fine uh, cleanup cut where it'll look a lot better so we'll uh, we'll get started on that plus I was going to write down a degree so when I cut the second hole they're going to be the same size okay. it's setting on a 353 degree So I'll cut it down and plunge, cut until I clear. I'm going to lock down my quill. And I'll just start feeding it back. Okay, I already see an issue. My quills actually, top part of my cylinder, my quills end up hitting the jaw back here, so I'm gonna have to rearrange it where all that'll clear. I'll be back whenever I get that set up. Okay, I had to change the way that uh, I was gonna cut these out. I already started the hole, but that's not gonna be a problem. I'll pick that back up. Uh, Rotary table uh, with a four jaw chuck. The jaws itself was in the way for the the quill cylinder was uh, hitting it before I could get my complete cut that I was needing. So 
basically I'll, uh, I've got it uh, grabbed in here. I've got it rotated where the center of this one slot that I'm going to be cutting out is up at the top. Once I get it cut out to the dimensions, uh, I'm going to rotate it over, get it in the center of this other one, and cut it out on the same dimensions. So it'll uh, so they'll be they'll be the same as far as the width and height, and uh, and we'll we'll go from there. So I got my cutter installed, got my vise installed with the uh, piston in it, and we'll we'll get started. I'm going to bring it over and find my starting point. And since I'm not rotating it, uh, now I'm going to be moving both my uh, x-axis and my y-axis. x-axis going in this direction, y-axis going in this direction. Uh, so I just found the hole, I'll bring it down, I'll touch off. I'll bring it down to the dimension I needed. I'm not giving any dimension, this is something that's uh, special to him. So I told him I wouldn't give any dimensions. You can probably look and see somewhat what I'm doing. But it's something particular to him that he uses to... Uh, get more out of the engine uh, it is for some uh, dirt bikes I think they use for racing so I'm not sure all what it does he just give me what he needed to do and I'm gonna do it <laughs> I'm gonna bring it, bring it back and just touch off I laughed it a little shy when I first started. Okay, I'll be at uh, zeroing out my Y and X axis. That'll be my starting point. And I'll bring it down to my dimensions. deburring tool to clean that edge up. Well, I had to get something to make me a little stop to make sure I get this piston back in the same same position on the x-axis and basically I don't have a, uh, a uh, dedicated stop for this uh, vise. Eventually I'm going to make one where I attach it to the back like most of them you see where I can have a, a constant stop. Basically what I'm using is a mag base uh, indicator back magnetic base with the uh, rod sticking out just holds it just enough to I get moved and then I'll move it out of the way once I get it in place so basically all I gotta do is move it I got a mark on it that I used to get it up come up hit that Get that arm on that uh, magnetic base. Right, I'm bringing her down to. Okay, well, I got it the right angle. Bring back just a little bit. out of the way and these marks that he's left on here is not exact he's just basically showing me a general area these marks on the ends is the ones that I'm running off of 
Now I'm gonna bring it back to the, just to double check, bring it back on my Y-axis where it'll stop. Make sure I got the gap I'm needing. Yep, that looks good. So I'll take it back over to the starting point where I got everything zeroed out. We're going in the opposite direction on this one. Because so I got to line up on the index marks that he gives me for the edges here. So then I'll just uh, plunge cut, go down to my depth that I have for the same over here, bring it over, bring it up and back over, and then we'll have that, that cut out and we'll deburr it and we'll be done with this job. Chat, don't want to drop it like I just did. <clears throat> right there, it is. I'm gonna deburr the edges. Bring you around, so show you what I'm doing. Basically, going to use a deburring tool. Uh, and I got a set that's color coded, and the green one's for for aluminum. And right there, I tell you these things right here really work good. That's it, it's cleaned up. It's ready for him to reinstall. Well, there's the job, it's complete. Uh, it's, it's quick. Uh, you got to see where you come up with a, show you coming up with a plan of action of uh, completing the ta task and then finding out that that don't work and then you gotta come up with a different plan. So, seeing that a, tried to use a rotary table first and that wasn't going to work with a setup that I have so ended up going with my vise and styled it it worked pretty good it didn't take too long at all once I once I got it all figured out so it's got cut out and I'll be taking this back in tomorrow and we can uh, put it back into use right, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, hope you got learned something or or Something you see that you could tell me that it helped me out, I appreciate that too. So, thank you for watching, and y'all have a good day.